Gillingham pressed the self-destruct button in the 20th minute. An embarrassing back pass by Steve Butler led in Luton's Tony Thorpe, who made the Kent side pay for their laps. But two minutes later, an up-and-under free kick was headed across the penalty area, and the strength of Ifeo Nura gave Jules the equaliser. But early in the second half, more incisive play from Luton restored their lead, and again the instinctive finishing skills of Thorpe, too much for the Jules' defence. Gillingham seemed sure to have earned a point when skipper Andy Hesenthaler was brought down. But Steve Butler's penalty kick was saved. Gillingham 1, Luton 2.